Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll be presenting Harry Potter Minali Magician. I'm really excited because it has been so long since I last talked about Harry Potter here on the channel, and that's probably because the majority of new editions released in the last couple of years are the same thing with different covers and more like money grabbers in my opinion, but here we finally have a book that was just released and deserves our full attention and honest excitement. First of all, if you're new to this channel, my name is Renata and I created Book Cravings because I wanted to talk about beautiful editions of books that I love. If you love books too, I invite you to subscribe and be part of our small community. And don't forget to hit the like button if this video is useful to you. In this video, you will find a complete flip through. I hope you appreciate the amount of work to film it and edit it because, as you'll be able to see, the amount of artwork here is impressive. So let's jump into it. The first impression is that here we have a nice cover design and a complete collection of Mina Lima Harry Potter would look magical. I love the cover illustration and how it delivers a new take on Harry Potter when it comes to the style. So from the beginning, you notice that this will be really different from Jim Kay's style and color palette. I also love the debossed golden details on the cover and on the spine. I'm pretty sure you will agree when I say that this is the best Harry Potter spine that has ever been designed. Now imagine an entire collection like this, it would be really stunning. What catches my attention right away is the number of pages this book has and how many pages the bigger books would have in this Mina Lima version, since the first book in the series is the shortest of all. So overall, the paper bound cover is really nice, thumbs up. The suggested price for this book is $37.99, but you will be able to find it for much less. So this edition, as you will be able to see, has great value for the money. As you may see, the book has sewn binding, and the spine is really flexible, and the pages stay perfectly flat open. I really miss a ribbon walker, but nothing is perfect, right? This was released in October 2020, and it was printed in China. Inside, we will find a lovely decorated end paper. And finally, let's go through the pages. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is my favorite book from the series, and I'm really excited to show you this book because it has a fresh interpretation and um, kind of different artwork style. But first I must show you the quality of the paper, right? As you may notice, they chose a good quality paper. It's heavyweight, it has a smooth texture and it is cream colored. They printed an aged paper effect on it and I find it charming. The entire book is full of small details and decorations. They did not say even a little in the visuals. This book is miles away from minimalism. Almost all pages are decorated or illustrated. This surprised me a lot. And the interactive pop-up elements are very well built and in my view, they appear in the right scenes. I usually don't get very excited about interactive elements in books because I'm a bit of a purist. I usually prefer total focus on the text, but this first book in the series has a special meaning for me, and the story is in my memory in such a way that the interactive elements warm me over, because they give life to our imagination in a fresh way. So this edition made me want to reread this book again. In total, here we have eight interactive elements, and they are very well distributed throughout the book. Here we have Dumbledore's watch,
Harry's invitation to Hogwarts. Diagonally A fat woman Hogwarts The mirror of Eriset The chessboard scene and square and wrap turban. In addition to the chapter pages and interactive elements, the book is full of illustrations integrated into the text. At first, I had doubts if it wouldn't be too much distraction, but then I started to find it an immersive experience. Now I will let you enjoy the artwork and in the end of the video I will give you my honest opinion about this new Harry Potter edition and I look forward to knowing in the comments what you think of it.
So guys, I won't lie, it's been a while since I considered buying another Harry Potter copy until now. If they release more Minalima's Harry Potter, I'll definitely be collecting them. They're not expensive editions, and they deliver original, different and fun illustrations intertwined with the full text. This book was very well designed, it uses good quality materials and has a good binding and stands up to the illustrated editions that I really love and recommend so much. In my opinion, there is only one criticism to make, and it is a big one, but it is personal. I'm not a great fan of the illustration style, but this is totally a matter of taste, so it doesn't diminish the quality of this book at all. So, what do you think? Be sure to write in the comments and I, I really would love to hear your opinion. This is probably going to be a very popular Christmas gift this year, especially for young Harry Potter fans. But this may not be the best option if the reader is too young, you know, as the interactive elements, despite having good quality and resistant paper, they kind of require a little more care in the handling, the pop-up scenes. Other than that, it's guaranteed success. So guys, I have other videos about Harry Potter editions, and in a few days I will be uploading an in-depth comparison video to help people deciding which edition is the best deal, Mina Lima or Jim K Illustrated Edition. It's a hot goal, so stay tuned and hit the bell button to get notifications as soon as new videos are released. I also have some affiliate links in the description in case you want to buy this book for your collection. I guess that's all for today, I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching! Bye!